Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make an ice dyed hoodie. The hoodie was prepped like normal, but I don't have it turned inside out. I'm using a Hanes Ultra Cotton hoodie that is 90% cotton and 10% polyester. I'd like to make some tall deep scrunches with this hoodie, so I've placed it down inside of one of my larger containers and just so that the hoodie does not collapse down in on itself, I'm using some wiffle balls. That'll give it a little bit of dimension and help it hold its shape a little better. I'm just placing the wiffle balls on my rack underneath both layers of fabric. I've got the rack down in the bottom of my container so that it keeps the hoodie out of the muck. I'm going to add quite a bit of ice to the top of this hoodie. I ended up adding two bags or 14 pounds of ice. I want to make sure I have plenty of liquid to force the dye down through the hoodie. With this technique, I'd prefer not to have to turn it over and apply more dye to the back side. For this hoodie, I'm using a variety of dark red and gray shades. I'm going to just randomly sprinkle the dye over the top of the ice. All of the dye colors that I'm using are Dharma Trading Company colors. I'm using Dances with Raisins, Eggplant, Black Cherry, Silver Lining, Shiitake Mushroom, Charcoal Gray, and Maroon. I have a list of the colors down below in the description. Now I'm going to add a small sprinkle of soda ash over the top of the dye and set the hoodie aside to allow the ice to melt. After all of the ice melted, I allowed it to process for about 24 to 36 hours before I began rinsing it. As you can see, this hoodie is pretty thick. But I added plenty of ice and so the dye has gone through to the back side. Before I began rinsing it, I lifted up one corner just to make sure I had good saturation all the way through. To rinse the hoodie, I began rinsing in cold water to rinse out any of the soda ash. Then I gradually warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing to try to rinse out the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. Because the fabric is so thick, I went ahead and added some hot water to my utility sink along with a little bit of Blue Dawn dish detergent and I just allowed it to soak. I came back and changed the water out as it would cool off and continued the soaking process until my water was almost clear. Then I washed it in the washing machine along with a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent and used a hot water cycle. And after the hoodie was washed and dried, this is what it looks like. So what do you guys think? So I love this one. Of course, red or pretty much any shade of red is my favorite color, so I think this one turned out looking cool. I tried to pair it with grays that I knew had great color splits, and it definitely didn't disappoint. The front of the hoodie is darker than the back because that's 
the side that I applied the dye to. And you can see a lot of dye movement on both the front and the back of the hoodie. Lots of really cool color splits. The grays just kind of add a lighter tone in there, which I think is very interesting. I like that. And then when you turn it over, there are a lot of really cool shapes and designs that the dye made as it was flowing and moving through the fabric. So I really like the hoodie. I think it turned out looking really cool. But what do you guys think? And if you all enjoyed the video and the process of making this hoodie, I sure would appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.